Sean Atwood went through painstaking measures trying to get away from Mobile County Sheriff's deputies. He may look battered and weak, but officials say he tried to strong arm a lieutenant. He did try to grab our lieutenant's gun. It all began after deputies say they pulled him over for driving with an expired tag. And when our lieutenant stopped the vehicle, he was asking some routine questions. The suspect appeared very nervous. He didn't have any information on him. He didn't have an ID. He didn't have any insurance. In fact, he gave a false name to our lieutenant. But what deputies say he did have were ingredients and supplies to use and make methamphetamine. He asked the suspect to step outside of the vehicle, and at that point, the suspect fled. After leading deputies on a foot chase, Atwood was finally caught and taken into custody. Deputies brought Atwood to the hospital because he claimed he was injured during the scuffle and also felt ill from some drugs he supposedly ingested. But that seemed to be all part of his plan. About a half an hour later, after he was at the local hospital, um, one of our deputies who was standing by heard some noises, stepped in time just to see the suspect's feet dangling from the ceiling trying to escape. The deputy was able to grab those dangling feet in time to catch him. He was pretty banged up from his escape attempt, but authorities are just glad he's in custody. Officials say he has an outstanding warrant and a criminal history dating back to the 1990s, which includes a variety of violent offenses and felony drug arrests. Atwood can now add 2008 to his list because he's now facing more than 10 charges. Reporting from Mobile County, Derricka Williams, Fox 10 News.